Fine. Uh, my name's Liz and I'm involved in helping with the March for the Arts campaign and I just thought I'd make a video sort of uh, story really to share as part of our Voices campaign. Uh, this isn't scripted and I don't entirely know how long it's going to be but I hope it's not too long. I've written a few notes of things I want to cover but essentially I'm just going to talk about why the arts are really really important to me and why I think it's really important this money gets spent properly um, and that we need to know the criteria for how this money is going to be spent and if this money is not for freelancers and individuals then we do need support for them we we, we cannot leave them behind because I'm one of them and I don't want to get left behind um, but I care a lot about this I have been involved mainly in the theatre world of the arts since I was really really young I were joined a drama club when I was in probably year four or five at primary school maybe even younger sort of like seven or eight and up until that point I didn't really talk to very many people and I didn't really enjoy being around people and then suddenly I, I went to this drama club and it was brilliant and it was a lot of it was just playing around with my friends we made plays and we learned scenes and we we learned scripts and we sang songs and once a week after school Having that opportunity was so vital for me growing up. Getting to still engage with drama through through high school um, and through college and then going on to university and studying drama for a degree um, was what I did. I threw my whole life at it, basically. And if I hadn't had the opportunity to be in a drama club when I was very, very young, I probably wouldn't be the person I am today and I wouldn't have the life I have today. And it worries me that places like drama clubs could get lost because there's not funding for that area of what we consider the arts. But who am I? Well, okay, so I've got a degree in drama, uh, but I do all sorts of stuff. I do lighting design, I do lighting and sound tech, but I also run a children's theatre company called Dragon Hide Events with a, a friend of mine, and we put on shows for kids. But then I also do stand-up comedy, and I also write things sometimes and I sometimes direct plays. I mean, I cover a real spectrum of involvement with the live events arts. I work at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I do a lot of work with live comedy. And so my entire life right now is at odds with what is going on. And I don't really know what my future is, so it's a bit worrying. I'm a freelancer. I'm self-employed or I work short-term contracts with venues and buildings and organisations but the majority of everything that I do comes through self-employment or through running my own theatre company or through being on a short-term contract and, and I'm part of the 70% of people who work in theatre and part of the 50% of people who work in the whole creative industries who who are self-employed and actually the ecosystem we have is so diverse that to me it's so worrying that no one is listening about that or very few people seem to be listening about that. I'm really worried that when October rolls around or when September rolls around or, or November or Christmas, I'm going to reach a point where I don't have any money left and I have to leave the industry and find a different job. And I can't afford to just find a temporary job. I need a job that allows me to live properly and that will mean possibly up to two years not being in this industry anymore. And that terrifies me because this industry is it represents everything that has made my life what it is. This is not just my job. It really is everything that I do. Um, so, yeah, so that's this is me um, sharing my thoughts, my experiences and my my concerns really with everyone. I have a lot of hope really. I know it sounds foolish, but I really do hope that we're going to make it through this, but we need unity to do that and we need solidarity to do that. And yeah, I think I think there's a way forward and I think we can get there. And I, yeah, I have a lot of hope for that.